and welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T U-verse 99. I'm Emily Riley. And I'm Shelby Sturthman. Blue Springs High School has the chance to win $5,000 and help out a good cause all at the same time through a new fundraiser called Jeans for Teens. For more on that, we go to Joe King. Hey guys, if you have any jeans that you're willing to donate, there's an upcoming opportunity for you. I caught up with Hannah Schwartz and Miss Fowler to talk about a new group known as Teens for Jeans. I asked Ms. Fowler the locations of where to donate and what is the goal of this group. I believe that there's going to be some bins set up around the school. Um, at this point, I know there will be one in my room, in room 313, as well as in the cafeteria. And I believe the goal is to collect a thousand jeans. And there's like 2,000 of you here on campus, so if all of you or half of you brought in one pair of jeans used, we'd meet our goal. So make it happen. Thanks. I asked Hannah Schwartz how our school could benefit from donating. There's the grand prizes are a $5,000 scholarship grant for the school and also a private concert from a British pop band called The Vamps. Please be sure to donate as much as possible. There is no limit on how much you can donate. If you have any questions, you can talk to Hannah Schwartz or Miss Fowler. Sign up for Wildcat TV. I'm Joe King. Thanks, Joe. Remember to help out with this great cause and bring your jeans to school for donation. Wow, Shelby. Your clothes are rather fashionable. Thanks. Speaking of fashion, let's send it over to Nicole Ross for information on an upcoming fashion show. Hey guys, I got the chance to catch up with Jasmine, who is the president of the Fashion Club. This year, Blue Springs is doing something we have never done before, and that is having our very first fashion show. Let's go take a look. All right, so when is the fashion show this year, Jasmine? Um, the fashion show is March the 14th here in the catwalk. And what kind of attire is this type of fashion show? Um, prom dresses and tuxes will be walking down the runway. We'll have prom dresses from Stephanie's Bridal and also David's Bridal and um, tuxes from Men's Warehouse. Um, anybody can model, male or female, um, just sign up in Ms. Herman's class this week. Um, the sign-up sheets will be in Ms. Herman's class and you'll just attach your picture and you'll fill out the form and give it, uh, bring it back into her on Friday. Sounds like something to look forward to. Be sure to stop by Ms. Herman's room this week to sign up. I'm Nicole Ross, signing off for Wildcat TV. Thanks, Nicole. Mr. Wildcat auditions are coming up soon. Let's take it to Sarah Baker for the information. Attention all senior boys. Are you interested in being in Mr. Wildcat this year? If so, auditions will be held February 3rd through the 6th in room 314. You can sign up to audition for either Shift A or Shift B. Make sure to have your swimsuit and talent ideas ready to present, including what props you may need for your performance. Also, each contestant will be required to pick a charity in which to raise money for. You will raise as much money as you can prior to the date, March 27th. Also, senior girls, you can be a Mr. Wildcat judge. If you're interested in being a judge, pick up an application in room 314. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Sarah Baker. Thanks, Sarah. We're going to take a short commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to hear all about the Forensics and Debate Tournament and get an update on the wrestling team. We'll be right back. There is no better place than Lunar Bowl for your kid's birthday party. Lunar Bowl has youth birthday party options for as low as $99.95 for a party of six, including two hours of bowling, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and a lot more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your birthday party, call group sales manager Tina Short at 816-220-7722. That's 220-7722. On the web at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl is a smoke-free facility. The boys wrestling team has been working hard all season and we go to Sydney Bliss for more information. 
Hey guys, a few individuals from the wrestling team have been doing a phenomenal job this season. I caught up with Wildcat TV's own Joseph King and Coach Haggerty to get some details. Why did you start wrestling? Well, I've always been pretty small. And so being a little kid, picking a sport that size didn't matter, it worked out for me pretty well. And so I'm still pretty small. So wrestling in high school is too bad. How are you preparing for the rest of the season? Um, we take it day by day, practice hard, everybody pushes each other in the room, and then going into districts trying to put the best team out there. How are you preparing for the rest of the season? Uh, these young guys work incredibly hard, and so we're not going to stray from that plan, and we're just going to keep plugging away. What are your goals for next year? I can tell you that looking down the road, the exciting thing is, is that our kids club is going to start getting some athletes into our program which will make a tremendous difference. Uh, we've been without a lot of youth club help for quite some time, uh, but we start seeing the benefits of having those young kids coming in. And then uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna continue to compete in the best tournaments and the best duels that we can find in the Midwest and uh, hope that that's good enough to become another state championship team. Good luck with the rest of the season. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Sydney Bliss. Thanks Sydney and great job on your first story. Let's tune it over to Amy Hendricks for a recap of the recent Forensics and Debate Tournament at MSU. Recently, Blue Springs High School Debate and Forensics team got to head down south to MSU. I got to catch up with Miss Young and sophomore Jordan Bass to get some details. What is your HI about? Uh, it's about these bed bugs, um, and there's a girl that sleeps on the bed that they're, that they're under, and she jumps on it, and then this bug breaks his legs, and they try and get revenge on her. How does it feel to be going to such a large tournament your first varsity year? Feels pee good. Um, I'm happy about it. Happy I'm doing well. I'm surprised I'm doing well. But I'm excited. I'm real pumped. How did you decide who would go to MSU? I base my decision on the success of those students that I'm taking as well as giving some other students an opportunity to go since it is really a regular invitational. What were your preparations for this tournament? We are working like crazy people. Congrats to all that did well at MSU. Keep up the hard work and dedication. I'm Amy, signing it off from Wildcat TV. Thanks, Amy. Great job. It's that time of the episode again where we catch a word from our sponsors. Don't leave. We'll be right back. One thing I like about Culver's is because the meat is never frozen, it's always fresh, and it's so delicious. What I love about Culver's is I can customize my own burger. Uh, I love bacon, cheese, I hate ketchup, I hate mustard, uh, so I can make it my own just how I want it. I love working with the people that are here, and I love meeting all the people in Blue Springs. Don't forget our fresh frozen custard. We make it fresh every hour. Come in for your favorite dessert soon, right here at Culver's. Something our school looks forward to every year is our spring musical. For more information on this great show, we go to Jared Hinton. One of the biggest things people aspire towards today is making money. We marvel at the businessmen who make it to the top almost effortlessly. This year's musical follows the journey of a young man who found a simple little book that tells him how to succeed in business without really trying. A show full of laughs, drama, and a little bit of romance, it's sure to bring a hit to the Blue Springs High School PAC. So come on out February 12th through the 14th to see a fantastic show. Tickets go on sale tomorrow in Mrs. Loman's room. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Jared Hinton. Thanks, Jared. Be sure to pick up your tickets soon so you don't miss out on the musical. Students in the Video Production 1 class recently visited a club for those interested in the specific science. Reporter Jacob Ryan has the story. Most people take biology sophomore year, but if you still find yourself asking questions, Biology Club is the place to be. I caught up with Miss McClanahan to figure out what Biology Club is all about. Well, it's kind of unstructured a little bit right now. We have a group of seniors who had taken pre-AP and AP Biology and really enjoy biology who have started it. Um, if students come in, they will tutor them. Um, but other times they just talk about current events and things in biology and or watch interesting biology related videos. It's always on the Thursday. 
uh, during Wildcat Hour Shift A. I caught up with Skylar Kramer to ask how much knowledge you need to be in Biology Club. You know, you really don't need too much knowledge to be in it. We tutor kids and we also talk about recent events in biology. So if you're interested in the study of life, come to Miss McClanahan's room, Wildcat Hour Shift A. I'm Jacob Bryan, signing off for Video Production 1. Well, that's all we have for today. You can view our past episodes on wildcattvnews.com or Comcast 15 and at and U verse 99. Have a great week, and remember as always, it's a great day to be a Wildcat. <laughs>